Welcome to Nailba's ID Network. I'm your host, Katie Fallinger, and here on the ID Video channel, you'll see exclusive interviews from changemakers and key voices within independent brokerage distribution. I recently sat down with Nailba board member and area president of GBS Insurance and Financial Services, Malcolm Sklar. Have a listen. So let's actually start, Malcolm, by talking about your your agency and a little bit of its history and okay. where you've come from. Um, Life Plans was established in 1967. It was one of the first true brokerage organizations and uh, it was Stanford, Connecticut, our original location. The two founding members were Shelley Seplowitz and Charlie Bakes. And um, primarily they were an outgrowth of the Hartford. One was an attorney, one was a sales guy, saw the need for multi-company environment. Those were the days where I hate to say brokerage was looked at as almost a pariah in the industry. It doesn't have the stature and status it enjoys today. Uh, companies look down upon it as robbing them of business, essentially, in very different days. And I, I joined the firm in 1975. So I've been at this for a bit of time now. Well, you've definitely seen a lot <laughs> of evolution. Now, I mean, you've been in this business a really long time. Yes, I so, have. 2020 is a new year, new decade. There's a lot of new trends and new challenges that I know you're starting to face. So, can you talk a little bit about those? What you see, a, as trends, but also challenges, and and you, you the positives, the pros, the cons that go with any of them. We're definitely in a um, interesting time uh, relative to the economics and. I think pricing pressure is one of the real challenges we're facing from the companies on down to the BGA to the consumer. Um, the, no one would have thought we've had 11 years of this interest rate environment and the pressure it's putting on products and it's changed the way companies do business and how we really distribute product to to a large degree. Uh, it has a, a long tail to it and the, the effects are starting to be seen more and more and unfortunately when you look at 10-year treasuries at 1.1 now, um, it's not sustainable to companies with the uh, draconian reserving uh, mm -hmm conditions they're under. So can you dive a little bit deeper on that? How do you then as a business uh, prepare for these changes and adapt? Well. You have to be nimble and flexible and, and you have to be able to offer a multitude of products for different audiences. Mm -hmm. um, our model, which is now GBS, the larger organization, as my firm was acquired by Arthur J. Gallagher 17 years ago, so we now have six offices and we're kind of running three vertical businesses within it. We have what I'll call traditional brokerage. Then we have our point of sale, um, and then we also have a business to business uh, model too. So three different businesses for three different audiences. Let's switch gears back again though to Nailba and another organization that's seen a lot of change, a lot of evolution, especially yep. just in the last couple of years. So you've been around a while with yep. this organization and I would love to hear your personal perspective as to why you value your membership with Nailba and what keeps you coming back. To me, it, it's a couple errors. The one word I'd use is advocacy. Even as big as we are and as big as a lot of the agencies are, they, they don't have that platform to advocate for the organization, for brokerage, for, for our whole industry. So when, when I think of NELB, besides the usual networking, access to people, and that, that's a given, that's part of NELB's fabric, but I think the advocacy is the key for me that I get a much bigger voice in the industry through Nelba. So we know that at the core of Nelba's mission, of course, and its vision and its values is this, the notion of providing security for all, especially right. widows and orphans. I would love to hear how you would sum it up, uh, the, the reason that you're in this business, what it's like in one or two words. Uh, well, I, I think, and this isn't a internal feeling, but it's what we do, we provide choice to people, to the advisor, to the customer. I mean, at the end of the day, if they pay $200 more or less and there's a death claim delivered, you know, that's what the key is. But we're able to provide choice to them to make the selection, to give them the opportunity to buy the protection that's needed. So I think choice really sums up 
what we do in our business. I mean, I've always said the brokerage business is the highest form of capitalism out there because we're free agents in the market, choice of carriers, choice of relationship, choice of products. Keep an eye out for new videos in the ID Network every week at Nailba.org. And make sure you follow Nailba on social media. We've linked all the places you can find us below. Also, mark your calendars for Nailba 39. Our next annual meeting happens November 18th through the 20th in Hollywood, Florida. Those details are also linked below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here soon.